the second property what we want to study is called time shifting, which says that if xt is a function of time, then uh, and whose Fourier transform is a capital X j omega, then if you were to time shift by t steps to the right, which means our function is going to look like, or t naught steps to the right, then its Fourier transform is given by e to the minus j omega t naught x j omega. So in other words, shifting the signal by t0 units over here is the same as multiplying it by e to the minus j omega t naught in the frequency domain. And uh, so we can, for example, see that if since delta t is transformed to 1, then delta of t minus t naught is going to be transformed to e to the minus j omega t naught. So essentially, we are seeing that if we were to time shift the delta to the left in time, then it corresponds to a frequency, a complex exponential with the, with the frequency of uh, omega t naught. Okay. Uh, the other value is called time scaling, which says that uh, If uh, xt is corresponds to the Fourier, Fourier transform to xj omega, I should draw a better arrow here. To xj omega, then uh, when you make the function sort of uh, at uh, in the time domain then that's going to result in something that gets scaled by 1 over a x j omega by a. So intuitively, this function over here is, uh, is, in, is, is faster by factor of a. This is the speed up factor, is a over here. Speed up factor is uh, a. And so when you speed it up by factor of, let's say, 5, then in the frequency domain, we're going to have the frequency multiplied, divided by the, uh, by the factor of 1 over modulus of A. And so, uh, and then of course, the, and, and, and it, the amplitude is divided by 1 over A and the frequency is divided by the value, uh, is multiplied by the value A because you're going in the denominator, so it goes, uh, it's going to be slower. 